Welcome to the Geek Easy. Sit back, grab a libation of your choice, and relax, because it's time to do some geek stuff in the Geek Easy. <laughs> Welcome to the Geek Easy, fellow geeks. Grab yourself a beverage because you're going to need it today. I recommend an alcoholic one if you're so inclined. Because today we are going to be talking about Gotham Knights Episode 3. I neglected to do that yesterday or this morning. Uh, mainly because my mind was just mush after watching that thing. And I had to try and just make some sense out of that episode. And it sort of makes me wish that I was drinking again. So, let's get this... Let's go over a recap. So, you have Bruce Wayne's son, adoptive son, who is just a made-up character. Not from the New 52, not from regular, you know, golden age, not, not pre-crisis, not post-crisis, not rebirth, nothing. Just some rando guy person they made up, uh, accused of killing Bruce Wayne. So we have another uh, show set in Gotham with no Bruce Wayne. First one, he just disappeared, and this one, he's dead before the show even starts. So this guy, he is accused of killing Batman, but it turns out the Court of Owls did it. So you've got him, you've got the Joker's daughter who escaped from prison, and this brother and sister group who are exceptional thieves. And a the girl, uh, Stephanie, I think she's going to wind up being spoiler. And a Robin who is, I guess, based on the Robin from The Dark Knight Returns, but not. This episode starts out with her taking on the leader of the mutant gang, who the only way he is related to the mutant gang, and I'm guessing that they're making reference to the mutant gang from The Dark Knight Returns, is the little glasses. The guy is monstrous, and she's about four feet tall, but but she takes him out because, yeah, reasons. And that is kind of integral to the part. Yeah, the, I mean, to the plot, not the part. Uh, he needed to be uh, needed to be caught and in prison. So turns out that they've got uh, there's a, there's a party going on for all the rich people in the neighborhood that in the city who. This, the guy who got, spoiler, from being in trouble, he has to go to, so he takes her to the party. Because they were both, he was being punished. And it turns out that the group, uh, the mutant gangs have stolen a bunch of chemicals and we're going to use it for poison. 
how did they figure out, how did the group figure out that uh, the mutant gang was going to make poison? See, you got the brother and sister who are exceptional thieves, even though they're in their te- only in their teens. They somehow have enough knowledge from being exceptional thieves to know that if you combine this chemical and this chemical, they make a poison. You know, because thieves know all about that type of stuff, right? And that, you know, it has to be, it can't just be, you know, put in the air supply out in the city because it won't work. So it has to be in a combined area. Oh, they're going to be attacking the the party. Now, uh, oh, I can't even remember the main character's name. He wants to help get into the party and try and stop these guys because he can't uh, he can't do anything right now because he's figured out that uh, the Bruce from from a uh, Bruce Wayne's journals diaries that he thinks that the Court of Owls killed Batman and they can't prove it so they're gonna go hey wait a minute we're going to go back to uh, 100 years ago where he mentioned that this guy was killed by, thought he was killed by the Court of Owls. So let's go get the case files on that, which is in police headquarters in the, in the file room. Because you know, they have files from 100 years ago still sitting down in the basement of... Gotham City Police Department. You know, standard procedures. Over 100-year-old cases just sitting down there. And so the exceptional thieves, they're going to... The brother, he's going to go dress up as a cop and get in there and not be recognized. While everyone else is trying to stop the poisoning of the big party. And they come across this, this bomb that they have. It's gonna uh, get put into the air system of the party and you know the exceptional thief sister she knows how to you know figure out how to defuse bombs it's gonna be complicated but that's another subset of her being an exceptional thief is you know knowing about bombs and shit It's just this show is just it's unbelievable. There's just I who I don't know who they're writing for because it's definitely not Batman fans. I think the people who are doing this and the same people that did uh, Batwoman I don't think they know anything about Batman they're just looking all these people up and trying okay we're going to do this and we're going to do this we're going to bring these people in and we need this to happen so we got to have them do this and stuff and it's it's, it's they play these stupid uh you know, poppy preppy songs sort of like that you got from these old, you know, you know, uh, teenage high school angsty shows from back in the day. So this is sort of like teenage superhero adjacent melodrama shows that they're doing, you know, you know, there's an old skit on Mad TV, uh, rich, rich white kids with problems, you know, which was a takeoff of some of the shows. That's that was a joke. This is actually sort of like that, but with superheroes, and they're trying to take themselves seriously. And there's there's just one 
aspects. So I, I'm trying to figure out how to do this without doing some spoilers. But the bomb that uh, they're going to use to disperse the the gas. These people leave it there, and then all of a sudden it disappears, and then it winds up someplace else, and gets used to go after a character when it should have been so much easier just to use the talent to use talent which has already been introduced but they, they get this whole complicated thing of wow someone moves this completely obvious bomb outside where there's all this police presence and uh, <laughs> uh, you yeah. I think the people who write this show need some help because they're obviously on something and it's not good. Or if it is good, they're not taking enough of it or too much of it where they can't think straight. I'm telling you, it's just <clears throat> the only reason I'm still watching this show at this point is just to see how much more they can fuck this up and they're they're doing a good job <laughs> if that's their intent they're succeeding um I'm still gonna stick with my point five out of five or maybe you know I guess I can start because I really couldn't go any lower than zero but to go to zero so I'm gonna have to go point two five out of five because this is just yeah it's I don't know. We'll see next. Oh, 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 oh. And one other thing is, is there's, there's a couple lines in here. I, I brought this up last week. They were talking about lines. Uh, so you've got the, the the girl Robin. She's she's in the, the tower that they're using, which was only supposed to, they were only supposed to be using for a little bit. But they're there all the time. Which, to get to, they have to go through the school, unlock this thing, and go up the stairs. So you have all these people who are wanted by the police and everybody for killing Bruce Wayne. The, anytime they need to go in and out of there, they have to go through the school to get to this place and get up there. And they're just hiding out in there. Right? And now all of a sudden, this extra person is coming in and out. The, the Robin. But, uh, so you have her, and then you have the Stephanie, I think her name is, she's just like, uh, she had said she had met Bruce Wayne once, she says, I didn't know him well, to, to the new Robin, but I think he'd be proud of you. If you don't know him well, how would you know whether he was proud of her or not? And he, you just met this girl the night before, or two nights before. How would you know? And that's someone else did that a little later in the show. You know, I'm proud of you. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to give this a point two five out of five and just sit here and say, if you want to torture yourself and see some really, really, really crappy attempts at superhero shows, this is the one for you. And you can turn it into a drinking game or, you know, give yourself a reason to start drinking or start drinking again. But anyway, let me know in the comments below what you thought of it because, you know, and maybe next time I'll be a little bit more clear instead of being so vague like I have been as to what I think of it. So anyway, let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. Like, subscribe, and most of all, try to enjoy your uh, comics.